The frozen turntable. It was the end of a snowy day on the island of Sodor. Thomas and his friends were making their way back to Tidmouth's sheds. But when they got there, they discovered that the turntable was stuck. It was frozen and it wouldn't turn. The turntable only pointed to one berth, so only one engine could go into the shed. I should sleep in the shed. It wouldn't be right for me to sleep out in the snow. I don't want to sleep out in the snow either, Gordon. Snow and ice are not kind to my paintwork. What about Percy? He has to pull the mail train tonight. He'll need a berth to come back to. I don't mind, Thomas. I can find another shed to sleep in. No, Percy. You should sleep here. We can all find other sheds to sleep in, and we should. The engines all agreed that Percy would sleep at the sheds that night. And the rest of the steamies went to find other sheds to sleep in. They met Flynn coming back from fighting a fire. Where are you all off to at this time of night? The turntable is frozen at Tidmouth Sheds. We're all looking for somewhere else to sleep. There are two empty sheds at the search and rescue center, if anyone wants to sleep there. I'm not sleeping at the search and rescue center. It will be far too noisy if there's an emergency and the alarm goes off. So James and Emily went to sleep at the Sodor search and rescue center. Thomas and the other engines decided they should ask Victor if there was room at the steamworks. Well, my friends, we only have room for two of you to sleep here tonight. I'm not sleeping here. The steamworks always makes me think of breaking down. I'm quite sure I wouldn't get any sleep at all. Okay, Gordon, but you do need to find a shed for the night. Sitting out in the snow and ice is not good for an engine. Gordon, there's an empty shed at Whiff's Waste Dump. I am not sleeping at a smelly waste dump. It's simply out of the question. Thomas and Gordon left Henry and Edward to sleep at the steamworks. Gordon was sure he could find a better place to sleep. Then they met Norman pulling his last load of the day. Hello, Norman. The turntable at Tidmouth Sheds is frozen. Do you know a place we can sleep for the night? There's room for another engine at the diesel works, if one of you wants to sleep there. I'm not sleeping at the diesel works. It's too oily, and I don't like the smell of their fuel. So Thomas decided to sleep there instead. Now Gordon was on his own. I'm sure I can find a better place to sleep than the smelly old diesel works. But no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't think of anywhere else to sleep. Oh. Then an idea flew into Gordon's funnel. Oh, what silly engines! They've all gone off to sleep in other sheds, but the turntable is sure to be working by now. But the turntable wasn't working. It was still stuck in the same place, and there was still only one berth that an engine could get into. What silly engines! I know where I am going to sleep tonight. It was very late indeed by the time Percy got back from pulling the mail train. He was tired and ready to go to sleep. But the berth was not empty. Gordon? No! Oh, what is it? I'm sleeping! Move in, Gordon, and make room. I need a place to sleep too, you know. Nonsense, Percy. This berth is too small for two engines. Oh, if you need somewhere to sleep, there's a spare shed at Whiff's Waste Dump. Percy was not very happy, but he was too tired to argue with Gordon. 
so he headed off to sleep at Whiff's waste dump instead. Gordon liked the idea of having Tidmouth sheds all to himself. I really should ask the fat controller to give me a shed of my own. It's much more peaceful without all those other engines chattering and making noise. <laughs> but then, the men started working on the turntable again. They were being very noisy. Gordon found it very hard to get any sleep at all. Before he knew it, it was morning, and his fireman was warming up his firebox so he could pull the express. Hooray! Well done. Then the men got the turntable working again. But no sooner had it turned away from Gordon, it stopped. The cold weather really didn't agree with it. Gordon was very surprised. He was ready to go. It was time to pull the express. But the turntable wouldn't turn back. It was well and truly stuck again. And that meant Gordon was stuck too. Oh, the indignity. The fat controller was very cross. He wanted to know why Gordon hadn't picked up his passengers that morning. What are you doing in here? Edward told me Percy was going to sleep in the shed. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but I needed somewhere to sleep as well. Percy slept at the dump. I didn't know I was going to get stuck. Then Percy arrived, looking bright and cheery. Good morning, everyone. Very well, then. Percy can pull James's coaches today. And James can pull the express. But I pull the express. Well, you can't pull it if you're stuck in here. Now can you, Gordon? Uh, 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 oh. The fat controller stayed at the sheds to supervise work on the turntable. All Gordon could do was wait and wait. I wish I could go out and do my job, like a really useful engine. At last, the workman got the turntable turning again. And Gordon steamed eagerly out of the shed. But it was already getting dark, and the other engines were coming back for the night. Gordon was very disappointed. I haven't done anything really useful all day. Then you shall do something really useful all night. You shall pull the mail train tonight, Gordon. Oh, no! The mail train is a job for a small engine, sir. No, Gordon, the tables have turned. Tonight, the mail train is a job for you. <laughs> Oh, the indignity.